Today is finally June 1st. It feels like I've been waiting for this release for so, so long, and that is mainly because of the brand new Captain Rex Microfighter. Of course, you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. We're going to be taking a look at this in a minute, but before we do, I'd just like to shout out my members' Discord. Anyone that is a member does have access to a Discord where you already know what sets I've picked up and what sets I'm actually looking to pick up later on this week. So definitely consider becoming a member and you can also share your thoughts and have more of a conversation about these sets than just in the comments section. This set is very controversial purely for the minifigure, which we will be taking a look at first, the Captain Rex, which is the exact same one that came out in the UCS Venator. So being able to get this Rex in such a cheap set, personally, I think is amazing, not only because it is the same one as the Veneta, but also you've got the Yularen minifigure, which is still exclusive to that set. If people do want to pick up the Veneta, of course, I have made my own custom Yularen as well, if you'd like to check that out. But not many Clone Wars fans have enough money just to splash that amount on a Lego set. So this gives us the fan favorite clone. This is many people's favorite clone trooper here, Captain Rex. I guess there is an argument you could have removed the arm printing or perhaps you could have removed the chip on the helmet. They want to keep the accurate minifigure. So we'll take a look at the head in just a second. But you can't forget we've also got a highly detailed fives. And if we compare the two Rex on the left here, fives in the middle, and we've even got a regular 501st Trooper on the right, which is currently available, I think, only in Grogu's Bark Speeder Escape, which is a rare thing because I know we've got the Specialist Battle Pack, but I don't think we have any other sets where the plain 501st can be got. The detail on Rex and Fives almost mirrors each other. There's very, very similar arm print in there. are different designs on the arms. If I can get you a close-up, you can see Rex is more worn and Fives also has the different colored gauntlet or communications device on his wrist. So I really like the fact they've changed it for Rex and not just gone with the same design. Though I'm sure if you wanted to make your own custom Rex and already had perhaps an old Rex torso, you could definitely use Fives arms, the legs from the legs from the 501st Battle Pack Specialist and then the head, well, the head is the same for most of the clones, but not again for Fives and Rex. Brand new heads for the both of them representing their character. Fives has his number five tattoo on his head, which of course is one of the key identifiers for the clone trooper. And Rex does have the patch where his chip has been removed. So I really like the fact that Lego have gone all out for both of these clone troopers and they really do stand out against the regular 501st. Now with the helmets, Fives wasn't perfect. You can see that line up the top right here does have gaps on either side, but we've got no problems like that with Rex. The line on the helmet isn't too thick. I don't even think there is a black line going around the helmet, which was a wise choice for Rex. We've got some tally marks on top. We've got the Jake eyes on top as well, which is a Mandalorian honor, which was bestowed upon Rex by someone that was training him. And then all the other details you would expect to find. The back of Rex looks quite normal. I'm not sure if it's the same as a regular clone. I can't really tell the difference between the two, if I'm honest. I think Rex just has a bit more gray printing compared to all the black on the left one, but it's pretty much the same from the back. So once again, if you already have this style of torso with the pauldron printing and the little ammo pouches, you could probably make a custom using the battle pack and fives, but for this price, you might as well just buy Rex. So Captain Rex is finally taking his spot at the top of my 3D printed clone display here. And I've got to say, Compared to Fives, I really like the pauldron a lot, lot better. It actually hangs over the arm. You can see what I meant in my Brickheads Rex video where it covers pretty much the full arm compared to Fives that just sits well too straight. But we've got Fives with a really cool face print. Rex is also almost uncanny compared to the Rex we see in Clone Wars. And I really like Cody's more angry face. It looks like he's mid-fire, or perhaps this is his face during Order 66. But I really like the three clones here, as well as all of the other ones on display. And if you are new here and can notice the one 2020 style clone that I am missing, there's a few 
customs dotted about, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm still trying to get my hands on the final one. Now Rex isn't the only thing you'll be getting with this microfighter, it's a microfighter set. You also get this solid Y-Wing microfighter. It is a solid build. These engines you can definitely swoosh it around from and as you can see, there is no chance of this breaking off or falling and they've done this by actually if we take a look at all of the spare pieces this set comes with and I haven't opened my clone accessories pack because I've got so many of these I've just taken one of my viewfinders from one of my other sets so I'll be keeping this sealed we get a fair amount of spare pieces one of which is this bar which runs through from this dish piece on the engine which is really really cool all the way slightly into this white Technic round 2x2 two two. and you can see we get a few different spare pieces of course the red one for the stud fire missiles but that makes these engines really really solid and I do have to bring it up because there's not exactly a way you can pop these apart without breaking the bar in the middle and they are very strong elements the engines themselves clip to a Technic brick just in here and you can see they've actually used one of these blue axle half axle half pin pieces which just hold the ship steady so it's not too secure in there i'm not quite sure exactly why they've done that it does make it easier to pop on and off but it also holds it in there solidly without forming too nice a connection it's a bit harder to put on with one hand though i do have to say the whole build from the first bag there was two bags in this set the first bag does the main body of it and then the second bag does this top design here and also does both of the engines the first bag you can pretty much build just off the ship's design if you've been building lego for quite some time but there are a load of brackets especially up the front here this is all bracket work on the side to make sure you're getting the shape of the y-wing that you expect rex can sit in there there are four studs you can tile it out if you want to especially if you're worried about captain rex's legs cracking because I know that is still a problem many people have. I haven't had it with any of my clones recently, but if you did want to be careful, you can always pick up a second set. The set in general is £12, and I think the value is definitely here. But in case you're not convinced, I do have some scales here, and we can plop Rex down on them, and you can see 56 grams for £12. Well, this is the first time we're doing this here on the channel. I have no idea what this means compared to the rest but i will be doing a video comparing all of the battle packs available and we'll be taking a look at their values based on their weights and comparing them to captain rex so stay tuned to see if 56 grams is a lot and as far as price per piece i really don't think that's a perfect metric because nowadays you can see the mandalorian battle pack even though it's at that increased price of 20 pound look at all the giant slopes and rock pieces you're getting this is pretty much half of the Dark Trooper attack. So you're actually getting quite a few pieces here. Likewise with this set up on the top left, the Paz Vizsla versus Moff Gideon set. And that's got a load of rocky pieces. Compare it to something like Luke. Luke has quite a few small pieces, but still has them big leg pieces. Rex has a load of little pieces. So the Micro Fighter and the Mech are pretty similar in price, but Rex's ship has some one by one slopes. I think the biggest piece in this set is actually the two by eight on the bottom. And then you've got two, two by sixes. And the next biggest is probably one of these bricks at the end or this giant slope here. The one by three It's giant for the micro fighter because it takes up like a quarter of the length. But compare it to some of the pieces used for Luke or similar price sets, they just don't really add up. So you're going to get more pieces for your price on something like the Rex ship here than Luke, or at least that's what you'd expect with the sizes of the bricks. Now, like the other micro fighters, this is a playset, and we have some stud firing missiles. As you can see, they definitely take a bit of effort to push in. Actually, we've had this a few times with the stud shooters here. You can see that the back is down, but it hasn't pung out. So you've got to be quite quick with how you push these down. Both of these have failed to fire. That is not a good look for this set. We've not had many good experience with these. I can't remember the mock that I built where the studs just completely refused to fire. So we'll give them one more chance. We'll fire them both at the same time 
and there you go at least we got one of them so that's a 25 percent success rate and thankfully we didn't lose the tile so would i recommend going out and picking up captain rex white wing micro fighter honestly most of you have probably already picked it up and I'd love to hear how many of you are building the set whilst watching this video. I think you definitely should. For the price, £12, yes, you might see it on sale later on in the year, but if you really want, you could pick up a second Rex and just have one to display and one to play with because it's a really, really fun set. Now, I will be making a few modifications of this. I think taking a look at a Rex mech would be amazing, especially if I can get one based off the Y-Wing. There's a good idea. With the new Luke X-Wing mech, I'll have to at some point make this Y-Wing into a mech as well because I really do like that style of mech and I think I'll still be giving it a go and trying to make this micro fighter into a mini figure scout Y-Wing or at least worse come a chibi scout like we see in the oven. But I'm going to go all out for mini figure scout and see how many sets you'd need to do that. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hang around and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on tomorrow's review. And if you are a member over on the Discord, even if it is just for instructions, be sure to let me know what you think about Rex and what sets you picked up. Be sure to drop images of what you've purchased in the Hall channel as I'd love to see what Lego you've picked up this month. And may the bricks be with you always.